September 13, 1960, Detroit, Michigan. Jake LaMotta defends his middleweight championship against Laurent Teal. The title is on the line, but LaMotta is far behind on points, going into the 15th and final round. LaMotta has won only four rounds up to this point in a bruising fight. LaMotta appears to be very tired, sagging against the ropes. He seems ripe for a KO, but is LaMotta playing possum? Dautil, a good boxer-puncher, has beaten LaMotta before. Back in 1949, the Frenchman took a 10-round decision, and tonight only has to last the round, and he will be crowned the new middleweight champion. When the overconfident Dottiel moves in for the finish, Jake LaMotta suddenly opens up. Dottiel knows he's been fooled and tries to hold and run, but LaMotta, always devastating inside, won't let him get away. It's LaMotta to the body and to the head. Against the ropes, Dottiel is in trouble. Dottiel has knocked out some good men, such as Steve Valois and Charlie v Zivic, but tonight LaMotta has come on. Both men blaze away. It's a real Dunnybrook. But LaMotta rallying from the brink of defeat, knocks Dottiel down and almost through the ropes. And LaMotta scores a dramatic knockout over the very capable Laurent Dottiel. It's Jake LaMotta, one of the greatest crowd pleasers of all time, winner and still middleweight champion of the world.